is advised. We got a big Russian boar that we spotted down here. We're trying to get in on him. He's a long ways down and keeps moving around pretty much, but we're gonna go see what we can do. There's a couple other pigs with him, another Russian that's got some spots, and uh, they got some other hogs on the ranch here too, but I really wanted a Russian, and this one's full on Russian, so we looked for him all morning. We finally got him in the glass this afternoon. We're gonna go see if we can get him. We're gonna try the bush buck arrow gun on him and see what happens. You might wanna have that backup gun ready too. <laughs> pretty, pretty rough, huh? They're pretty mean. I mean, I did, three, four circles and they're still chasing me, so okay. I took off, but your best bet's probably gonna be a wash down, walk down that switch bag. All right, we'll give it a try. Thanks, man. All right. Just another dug out side on the dug out part of the side of the hill here. And pigs get up here and dig and get out of the sun and at night get out of the rain and stuff. And we've been finding quite a few of these around here. Pretty cool stuff out here. Look at the blood on the side. I got my Russian boar. 
not exactly the results I was looking for, but we'll see when we scan what that broadhead did. Double, almost acted like the broadhead didn't open, that's why I don't like expandables. Well, after we were on top of the hill with, with Robert and Tom, we made a plan to split off and keep the wind in our direction and cut off to the left. And we worked our way down on, on them pigs and, and there's two Russian boars in that sow. We stuck around to where we'd last seen them. And uh, at one point I stopped and got my pack off and my other shirt and uh, got my air tank ready, my arrows, took two arrows with me on, on the Bushbuck arrow gun. And uh, we come around the corner and those pigs had moved like 150, 200 yards to the left. And it didn't take us very long to get there. We were caught off guard. We were surprised. Bam, here they come. They popped up on the left there and boogered out and spooked and run back. You know, and in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, here, show's over. This is done. We're gone. And uh, they run over. And, and the only lucky thing we had was the sow didn't spook too bad. And that sow, you know, it's her time. And, the, and them, them boars really wanted her bad, so they were hanging around her. And, and Dana was filming for me. And we worked our way around and just kind of snuck in to where they had gone and they're on the other side of the bushes over there in the trees. Really couldn't get a shot. There wasn't any way to really get that arrow to kind of snake through them, them branches. And uh, we sat there for a while and I was kind of wolfing at them a little bit, trying to keep their attention and, and pique their interest. And it worked and we got that Russian boar that I, that I wanted to shoot. We got him to come back over to the left a little bit and he went back and come back over. And I finally got a shot and I uh, let him have it with the arrow. And I was using a three blade crossbow expander and uh, you know, the broadhead did open. I didn't think it did, but it did open. It was just, my shot was a little bit high on the pig and on those Russian boars, uh, these guys up here are telling me that their vitals are a lot lower than a regular pig is, a feral pig or, or European. So uh, the shot was a little bit high. He was bleeding good and, and walked over around the corner and you know, I had to put another one in him and they kind of worked their way back and I, and I shot another arrow, but unfortunately on that second one, I hit a twig and that arrow glanced off and never did make contact. So uh, we worked our way in a little bit closer. And nice thing about that gun is it shoots arrows and bullets. So I threw in a 365 grain bullet, dropped it in there and uh, we had to put another one in him and finish him off. So it was a really fun hunt, but I'll tell you what, it was touch and go there for a little bit because the other two pigs they didn't want us being there. They didn't want us around and they come, they hooked around when they finally got off of the pig, we got them off of him. They come around the backside and uh, they, we had to pay attention. And at one point they got up about five to 10 yards from us and they weren't very happy that we were there. Um, one of the really nice things that uh, I've got right here on my side, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a Meisenheimer. Chuck Meisenheimer makes these custom bullet pouches. They can be used for anything. I carry these on all my hunts everywhere I go. This pouch right here pops open. I mean, I got my 365 grain bullets in it. It's just awesome. And this one, Chuck actually made for me out of a black wildebeest that I killed in Africa with my Bushbuck 45. So it's got a lot of meaning to me. I carry it around all the time. And uh, it was nice having the dual ammo there and a gun that shot the dual ammo to take care of the situation. We don't ever like to have a situation where an animal doesn't go down quickly, but it happens. If you're hunting, it happens, and you gotta be able to make that follow up and take care of the issue and, and get it done. It was really exciting. A lot of fun out here. Dana, Robert Buchanan, Tom Costin, American Air Arms. We're having a hoot, man. Finally killed a Russian boar. Kip and I went out onto this bluff that's up here and we were able to pick out this good size goat at right around 160 yards. 
and I was able to line up with him. Made a, a great shoulder shot, it went through and came out the other side, it was actually a pass through. And he went down immediately. There's no flat ground on this property, everything is pretty much hiking and steep hills and narrow little goat trails. And so I'm super impressed. The bush buck definitely did its job. I think I would have liked to have been a little closer initially. I think for future, I think I'm gonna really try to get, you know, at least within 100 yards. But it definitely worked out and I'm super blessed to be out here with the guys. And can't wait to pull this guy out and uh, we'll get some more pictures for you guys. We're here at the San Diego Zoo. I love it. <laughs> I'm here with Dana Webb of Mountain Sport Air Guns, who as you all know does fantastic videos, hunts, camping trips. Dana is a fantastic uh, man to be out with. I really admire the work that he does in terms of the, you know, he gets out into the into the terrain, he, he gets out into the forest and, and really, uh, you know, tests himself and the equipment that he chooses uh, to benefit yourselves and uh, and companies like mine to uh, to really bring you, you know, a, a close-up view of of how the uh, the products perform. Uh, how the products that uh, that Dana uses in terms of the camping equipment is, is just a, a real nice man to be out with and I'm really enjoying that. I don't believe there's a level place on this property other than maybe where I'm standing but uh, it, it was rugged and it, it was very nice to uh, to be a part of it. So uh, I appreciate the uh, the invitation to be here with you Dana and participate in what was really a, a nice day and uh, you know a nice hunt. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I really enjoyed seeing Kip use this aero gun. I'd really never seen anything like it. You know, there are aero guns on the market, but I gotta say this thing is just fantastically built. A very nice stock on it. I like the length of it, I like the size of it, and it's just a sturdy, well-made gun. And I really enjoyed using the uh, Bushbuck 45, you know, that was over, an awesome shot. Over told. 500 foot pounds, and I was getting out to 160 yards with this gun. Really, no problem. And, you know, it went right where I aimed. Just a fantastic gun. You know, really uh, a nice, traditional, well built gun. You know, I've really enjoyed using it on these two hunts that I. I you used know, Dana, it. a lot of people think that. Um, that I get guns given to me or something like that. No, I I shoot what I want to shoot. So if you guys purchase either one of these guns, you're gonna have an opportunity to win a hunt out here at this ranch with Kip and I. And we're gonna come back here next year. It's a lot of fun. We've, we've really enjoyed it. This is a great place to hunt. You know, even somebody that's new to hunting with air guns, this would definitely be, you know, a great opportunity to get out, you know, especially with somebody experienced like Kip. I've got a little bit of experience now, um, but we just had a lot of fun with these guns. Definitely. It's a lot of fun. This ranch is, it's a hoot. Um, it's not your traditional hunt. No, it, it is. is it's yeah. a big property. We did a lot of hiking. We yeah, did a you lot can of see behind work. us. Uh, don't come thinking it's going to be easy. Uh, there's a lot of canyons here. It's straight up, straight down. Uh, a lot of shot opportunities. So if you have somebody that hasn't hunted before, um, this is one of those places. It's fantastic for them. If you have somebody that has hunted a lot and you just want to come out and camp with the guys and have fun, we're going to put this trip together. Yeah. We're going to give it away. And we'll do the drawing at the end of 2021.
If you guys are interested in any of these guns, go check out airgunsofarizona.com. Check out the Bush Buck. Give them a call if you guys have any questions. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. If you've got any other questions, you can reach out through Kip. I know you're very familiar with these guns. Um, and between the two, you know, they can answer any questions that you guys might may have. And so it's a really nice giveaway. I really appreciate Kip and AOA for really helping us get out and be able to do this hunt. I gotta say, I'm really impressed by this goat meat. The goat meat. I really do. I think this is like, this is really good. I mean, it's a little gamey, but it's not too easy. Well, we can use this again. What do you think, Robert? What's your vote on the best meat? Uh, this uh, filet mignon that we're gonna have here in a few minutes. Oh, besides <laughs> that. Besides the filet mignon, I kind of like the flavor of the goat. I really do. I think the it's Russian. Got a little bit, it's got a little bit crazy. more character than it does. A little I bit think more the, character. The Russian boar was my favorite. Oh yeah. All right, Kip, move that steak. I'm gonna put this off. I think I think truly Robert's been now, drinking yeah. a moonshine. Whatever that one you showed me, I'll take it. Whatever that one you showed me, I'll take it. Whatever that one you showed me, I'll take it. What? An old trucker. Just fade away. They never get. They never retire. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna retire. They just get. Well guys, we're having our family dinner here. Like civilized gentlemen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you can call us that. I really appreciate you guys coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed the footage. I really was grateful I had the opportunity to get out to this ranch. This is a location that I had heard of before and I've always wanted to come here. And so to have the opportunity to come and spend a couple days and hunt some bigger animals was super exciting for me. I, I'm really happy I had that opportunity. The bush buck and the safari both functioned perfectly for me. And I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, both those guns perform really well. It was a lot of fun. The staff here is super helpful. And I really enjoyed getting out here and doing some hiking. And you know, we really did put in quite a bit of work for these past couple days. And I was happy that I was able to play cameraman for, for Kip on his pig hunt, for Tom. That was a lot of fun for me. Adrenaline packed, that's for sure. It's one thing to be behind the trigger and it's another to be behind the camera. It's almost like watching a movie if you can understand what I mean. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed getting out here. I really appreciate you guys watching. And leave some comments. Let me hear your feedback. Let me know other trips that you guys would like to see. And I'm going to try and make it happen. I appreciate you guys watching. And we'll talk to you soon.